What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here and another minor iOS update has been released. This time with a lot of bug fixes in tow, iOS 9.0.2 has just been pushed out for all devices. So in this video, like usual, I'm going to be talking about what this means for you, what it changes, are there any new features, how's the performance, and I wanted to talk a little bit more about the jailbreak. I haven't been really talking about that and there's a lot of news I wanted to mention. So this update can be installed over the air or of course through iTunes. It's a very small update. It took me about five to 10 minutes to install install and uh, you know it wasn't that big of a house of course you just have to have your battery charged halfway and a wi-fi connection anyway so these are the official changes it's pretty much bug fixes and improvements as for performance i'll get to that in just a second but it fixes an issue with the settings to turn on or off app cellular data resolves an issue that prevented iMessage activation for some users and i was actually affected by that one it resolves an issue where an icloud backup could be interrupted after starting a manual backup and fixes an issue where the screen could incorrectly rotate when receiving notifications and it improves the stability of podcasts. Unfortunately, I was disappointed that I didn't see this in the change log as well and I just grabbed this off of Mac rumors. This guy made me laugh. Fixes an issue where we turn your 12 month old device into a sluggish piece of to try and make you buy a new device. Anyways, so I was 9.0.2 extremely small update 72.5 megabytes it's going to vary on which device you do have but after installing i noticed that the available went up so i had 92.5 after installing before installing i had 92.4 so that could be just some files the cache clearing but overall it's good to see them now did i notice anything different right away i mean no it was exactly the same on my 6s plus i had no issues whatsoever and yeah that's my new one rock in the rose gold color. It's only on my 6 Plus that I noticed the stutter. So I also did install it on my iPhone 4S right here and I just wanted to see how it feels. And again, there's still a massive delay for everything. You see that? Terrible. I wonder what firmware update it's gonna take for Apple to buckle down and start fixing these issues because this is just ridiculous. There's such a hang when opening applications. The 4S actually ran pretty good on 8.4.1, but now it just runs like crap. So maybe 9.1, maybe 9.2, who knows? <laughs> We're still hoping, but it doesn't run any better seemingly. I mean, I'm gonna test it out extensively today in my performance comparison, but I just can't tell that much of a difference. Performance-wise, maybe it's a little bit smoother smoother, but I'm going to have to actually put it down and compare it with 9.0.1 in order to tell. So besides the bug fixes, I don't think I was able to find any new features. iOS 9.1 beta 3 was also released today and with it, it brings a couple new things, but in here, I wasn't able to find anything. Now does iOS 9.0.2 fix the lock screen bug? Yes, it does. So I was unable to recreate it and here's what Apple actually fixed. I was surprised they didn't fix the Siri thing. You know, they just fixed one of the symptoms. Anyways, so same process. Siri, what time is it? It's 11.25 a.m. I'm actually very surprised that Apple didn't patch this. You know, you can still get into Siri while your device is restricted and this could lead to more bypasses, who knows? But if you try and select this word now, you no longer have an option to share it. So they've removed the share setting all the while your device is still restricted in the background. So maybe that could lead to another bypass, who knows? You know, but it has been officially patched. So you guys can go ahead and re-enable Siri on your lock screens. So what does this mean for a jailbreak? If you guys are waiting patiently for a jailbreak, let me tell you something, the jailbreak is not gonna happen on iOS 9.0.2 for a while or on iOS 9 in general. The fastest way for you guys to be jailbroken soon is to downgrade back to iOS 8.4.1. So we all know iOS 9 has been jailbroken by I Hate Snow, the GM version, which was pretty much the final version. He actually demoed it on video, but he had no plans of releasing him. Now, Zerodium, which is a zero day acquisition platform, is offering a $1 million reward for anybody that can bypass the iOS 9 security restrictions in Safari and jailbreak this device you know, easily through Safari. And that's just near impossible, but there's a $1 million reward for anybody who can do it. So that in no way will benefit the jailbreak for us, but I thought it was interesting that someone is willing to pay so much money for something like that. As for the actual jailbreak though, there's an old tweak developer who's been working on a jailbreak and who's saying that it's almost, almost ready at completion. He actually released uh, some instructions for people to do it that were developers themselves that knew how to work with the jailbreak. So maybe some people are running the jailbreak right now, but we're super close to it. He is trusted and verified by the community, so people do trust that he has this jailbreak available. 
hopefully we will be seeing it soon. So what does this mean? Well, you need to be on iOS 8.4.1 in order to jailbreak your device soon. Yeah, you won't have iOS 9 and all of the new features and all that, but at the same time, you'll have better performance and a jailbreak on an older iOS 8 firmware. Fortunately for you guys, you can still downgrade to iOS 8.4.1. And if you guys want to know how to do that, I'm going to show you in just a second. I'll have links down below in the description of this video. So make sure to go there. I'll have the full written guide down there as well as all the download links. It's very simple and you guys need to do it now. iOS 8.4.1 is about to lose support any day now. So if you want a jailbreak, the fastest way to get the jailbreak right now would be to downgrade to iOS 8.4.1 and sit there until this jailbreak is released, which will be very, very soon. Unfortunately for iOS 9, we're still waiting. Probably iOS 9.1 is more likely to receive a jailbreak. Okay, so you guys wanna take my advice and downgrade to iOS 8.4.1. Here's how you do it. First off, you're gonna to wanna to click the link down below in the description, or I'll just put it right here. Go ahead and go there and download iOS 8.4.1 for your device specifics. And you'll find the model number on the back of your device. Make sure it matches up with the links. And next, if you're on Windows, go ahead and hold the Shift key. If you're on Mac, hold Option and left click Update. Now, Update will actually preserve all of your files. It's not a guaranteed fail safe, but I would back up your device in any case. And uh, anyways, let's go ahead and select the update. I'm updating my iPhone 5, and this is technically gonna leave all of your files in place. Nothing will be erased, but again, back up just in case. If you guys wanna start over, do the restore. Anyways, go ahead and select it, and your device will begin updating. And by updating, I mean downgrading to iOS 8.4.1. And this is where you wanna stay for the time being. Until that jailbreak is released, I will be covering everything about it. Stay there on iOS 8.4.1. But anyways, guys, that's just about it. iOS 9.0.2 has been released least today. You know, nothing too special. I'm going to be doing a full speed test comparison in just a bit here, but I really haven't noticed that much. It just fixes a couple bugs. All right. So thanks for watching guys. Just wanted to fill you in on the latest news about iOS 9.0.2, another unexpected update, but it does bring a lot of bug fixes with it. So it's great for anybody that had a lot of issues with iOS 9. It's not that firmware you've been waiting for to fix all of the issues. Hopefully that will come soon, but it is progress and I'll be doing that full speed test very soon. So thanks for watching guys. Update to iOS 9.0.2 2.2 without worry it's a great firmware no issues yet if you want a jailbreak stay on 8.4.1 or downgrade to it right this minute remember the downgrade links are down below in the description have a great day guys enjoy i was 9.0.2 peace